Hey guys, so let's take a look at how to edit a workflow site heading. So in order to do this, you need to go to the back end of your workflow dashboard. So there are different ways you can assess the editor. So you can either do that from here, just click on this and click on editor and it's going to open the editor for this specific website you're trying to change text for. Another way you can do, do this is just go over to the URL and add in question mark edit. So once you're in question mark edit, you're going to get to this collection, but you must be logged into Webflow for you to get this. So that's a short way of going about it. So how do you edit text on Webflow? It's very straightforward. Any text you want to edit, any, any heading text you want to edit, all you have to do is just hover on it and you're going to see this edit icon on the top. Just click on it and you should be able to edit. So right now I have this open in two different tabs. So I'm going to get rid of one and I'm going to try that again. So let's try that one more time. So just click on, just add in question mark, edit, and it's open the editor. And then let's go ahead and edit the heading. All right, so you click on this icon here and you should be able to edit this. So you can just edit this from stretch to, let's say, greatness or anything you want. Um, if you want to, let's say you want to bold this, just hover on it. You get options for bolding and interlacing. So if I click on bold, this is going to bold. It is going to interlace. If you want to get subscript and subscript, all those different script stuff, you can do that here. And you can also add a link. So if you want to add a link to Google, for example, we just do that here and press enter and this would be linked to Google from now. You can remove the link by going over to clicking that same link icon and the garbage icon is going to get rid of it. Then we have this last one, which is clear formatting. So let's say you've done italize and all this and you want this to go back to default, just click on this and it's going to go back to the default. So that's how you edit headings in Webflow. If you want to edit other headings, same thing applies, just go over on it and you're going to see this icon or you can just double click if you double click on it it's you can actually edit by double clicking so that's um, about that when it comes to editing headings now one thing you need to know is you can't you can only edit headings that are non-dynamic so this is a from a dynamic content this is from your your site's cms so you cannot edit this directly from here if you click on this, you have uh, you can actually edit it from here, yes, but you can like get all the different parts of this here. So it best way you can edit this is by going to collections, then you find testimonials, and then here you're going to see a list of all the things in that part. So let's say let's go back to here. Let's say you wanted to edit mark not something, and it's not on the screen. You go to collections, and you go to testimonial and you find Mark Noble from here and you can edit it perfectly from here. So that's something you need to know. Sometimes you can't get all the headings if they are, uh, if it's dynamic based content. So aside from that, everything else is basically straightforward. You can just double click or click on this icon. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. And, and yeah, if you need any workflow maintenance services, don't hesitate to visit Flow Maintenance Agency. You can check the link um, in the description and all you have to do is just fill this form and select any of the services that you need or custom service and submit a request and I'll get in touch to you. So with that comes the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.